You're listening to MPS Connection with A.J. Hoffman. Perfect. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm A.J. Hoffman, and today we will be hearing from DeAndre Hogan, our Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Jenna DeLude, our talented art teacher over at Adams School, and her fourth grade students and the contributing artists, Leora and Madison. They'll be talking about this year's DEI sticker, which was placed on at least 4,500 Chromebooks. Enjoy. I'm DeAndre Hogan, uh, Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for Midland Public Schools. Awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about the positive impact diversity, equity, and inclusion have in the public school system? Absolutely. Um, so the essence of the work is to make sure that as a school system, we're creating environments where each student feels like they belong, uh, feels like they can see themselves reflected in the coursework or the content they take in, and to prepare um, our students with the world they're going to be walking into when they leave these walls uh, as more um, diverse, and the more that we can expose them to different experiences and perspectives um, while they are here, I think the better off uh, they will be trying to navigate um, the, this world when they graduate. Now, uh, as far as the sticker project goes, I'm in love with the idea that the students got to do it this year. How how did we or how did you come up with this idea? Uh, so to back up there, it was not me that came up with the idea. Uh, my role um, throughout the process is uh, support and uh, providing things for those who um, uh, were kind of leading the project, and that is the um, Midland County Inclusion Alliance Parent Engagement Group, a um, group of volunteer parents uh, really invested um, in the school district. They have students that uh, attend NPS schools and they're very passionate about um, the DEI work um, that we are you know, engaging in. And uh, it was this group that really came up with the idea to show an appreciation or to provide a visible reminder to each of our student staffs. Um, you know, we take our Chromebooks uh, home and um, you know, parency. Just wanted something to um, be a visible reminder of the work that we we're committed to. And this is actually the second um, iteration of the Chromebook sticker. The first sticker was designed by um, an art teacher. And when we were coming up with this project, we really wanted to create something that um, involved the creativity and the you know passion and the agency of students. Um, so with this year, uh, we kind of want to get back to those original plans of inviting um, some students to take part in and, you know, given their um, perspective and their interpretation of what diversity, equity, and inclusion and being an ally means. So we're very happy to, um, um, you know, create space for some students to be involved and now see their artwork across the district and all the Chromebooks. Awesome. Now here's a question that might be bigger than both of us. Oftentimes families come in and they, they see nothing that represents them, their families or their culture. So when there's that disconnect, how do we get those kids more involved or how do we engage them? Um, I think it starts with looking at us, looking at what um, we have up in our classrooms, what we have up in our halls. Because um, again, as I said earlier, we want each student to see themselves reflected. Um, in the learning environment and we think that gives them um, you know, the chance to see themselves that they you know belong here and that they uh, are safe here and that they um, can see themselves um, you know, see their potential in um, you know in, in, throughout their classroom environment and if they don't see that I think it starts with us uh, we're actually working on something um, throughout the district to help us assess that, uh, looking at our images and content and um, the posters we have up on the wall because the message is that just those things, those visual things send, um, will let students know whether they you know, can be themselves, whether they feel comfortable, whether they can um, be successful in the classroom. And so we are going through a process now of um, kind of assessing ourselves and what we are promoting because it shows what we value and we want to value um, our student experiences so excellent did you work with our teachers or collaborate with them on how you wanted to approach the sticker project this year um, no so that was up to our um, Millen County Inclusion Alliance engagement group um, they led that 
uh, work in this initiative and again I was kind of on the um, background being a support and um, would check in and would look at um, the different you know designs and iterations and give approvals and maybe give a little bit of direction um, here and there um, but uh, throughout the process there was no direct communication with myself and the um, um, art teachers it was the, um, the the parent volunteers that were the conduit between uh, myself and the art teachers which I think was great for collaboration and getting some more perspective in there awesome thanks for your time today DeAndre thank you all right. Hi, Mrs. DeLude. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So I'm here to talk to you about the uh, DEI sticker today. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that project? Yeah. So we were, um, I was approached by some of the ladies in the DEI, um, I guess, group that made the sticker last year. And um, they kind of came to me and asked if I would be interested in being part of that. And one of my first reactions is that I really would like to see students involved. Um, this year with the sticker um, as being an elementary teacher like that's all I'm about I want to see kid 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 coloring and kid um, inspiration so that was my first suggestion um, and then I decided to go with fourth graders just because it's um, a good group that I will have um, obviously had them last year and this year and the two girls that I picked um, were obviously loved art and were inspired by lots of things but they just naturally i think live by a good dei like um i overall idea they're very caring and they're when we talked about the word ally they were what i considered good allies for all their classmates um so anyways i just went to them and asked them if they would be interested and talked about how i had to be kind of like under the down low for a little bit until obviously everything was um, worked out, but my favorite part of the whole project was them um, working as how a real artist would be if you were being commissioned for a job. So they kind of would do like a rough draft and then we met with um, the DEI group and they would be like, okay, well we like this or we don't like this and we need to change this. So it was giving them a really good idea of how like being um, a career in an art and how that would be working with someone who would hire you to do a real life project so that's awesome how long did it take him to do the project from start to finish um i would i would say probably two months off and on we worked on it um during some of the recess time some of their extra lunch recess time um they had extra time in class they would come in they worked in it during my class a little bit so just kind of off and on okay cool now was were there other schools involved or was it just and they picked like just yours was the best or were they like no Adam school that's the we want to target them and you know and you, yeah. you decide to take on the project so last year um, I believe this sticker was made by a Plymouth art teacher the ladies that came with me this year the reason why I think I got kind of involved was that she had a daughter at Adams but I think the bigger scheme is they would like to continue to go around to each elementary school. So for example, um, this year we're hoping to move to a different elementary school with different kids and continue that maybe through middle school and high school. So it's kind of this like um, good rep representation of our district awesome. for art, yeah. All right, well thank you very much for your time today, Mrs. DeLude. You have a good day, okay? Thank you. All right, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. What are your names? Madison, Leora, and what? Whose room are you in? Miss Lepowski's. She teaches fifth grade. Yes. Right. How old are you guys? Ten. 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 Very good. Okay. So, reason I have you here is because you two together designed the the DEI sticker, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, how was it brought up to you in class? We got pulled out of the art room into the hall, and Miss Lou told us that if we wanted to, we can create the sticker for our Chromebook. Um, what was your inspiration? Hmm. To, like, be the ally, kind of, and, like, be nice. Yeah. To kind of be nice to people and be allies for yeah. people. That's good. That's a good answer. Now, have you ever done a project like this before, either one of you, Madison or Leora? No? <laughs> No? It's kind of a first time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Was it really surprising to be chosen to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how does it make you feel to have your artwork like become a sticker? I was kind of scared at first because I didn't know what to create, but then I got very happy when it was all done okay. and I got to see it on Chromebooks. Nice. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, about the same. You're kind of scared about it first. Have you guys done a lot of artwork before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What does art mean to you? Everything. Yeah? Happiness. Happiness. That's awesome. Like, how do you decide what you, you were going to do? Um, Mrs. Rude kind of gave us, like, an idea of what to go for. Like, she showed us a couple examples. And we started with, like, four different, like, sticker ideas. But um, then we tried to put them all together, and then we just kind of went from there. And this is like gave us more ideas as we did. Nice. So, like, what kind of ideas did she give you, or what kind of ideas did she throw out there? Um, she told us to put hands in there, like holding t- hands, or put them all different colors. Nice. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, probably had to. Now, did you guys do it in like colored pencil or crayon or what? Markers and colored pencil. Markers and colored pencil. So it's kind of a safe to say it's a mixed media project, right? Mm-hmm. That's the extent of my art knowledge, right there. That's all I know about art, really. So not very much, very little. <laughs> so, what does this piece of art mean to you? Like at the end of the day, what do you? What does it mean to you guys? I say that we're awesome. That you're awesome, huh? Very yeah. cool. <laughs> and it, what is it? Is it important to be inclusive of everybody? Like, do you, like, because you guys have like a lot of, a lot of different friends, right? Yeah. Lots of different friends. So it's important to like be nice to everybody, include everybody, right? <laughs> That's cool. How long did it take you guys to come up with the idea? I was wondering about that. Um, like four months maybe yeah like really? four three and a half months okay cool cool and when you get to be on a sticker that's going to be on everybody's chromebook that's a pretty awesome experience huh mm-hmm. yeah all right well thank you for talking to me today ladies i appreciate it mm-hmm. all right we'll see you later can you say say see ya Bye-bye. bye bye <laughs> <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this episode of MPS Connections. We release new content on the first and third Thursday of almost every month. Do you have an idea for a podcast or other content from around this district? Send it to communicationmidlandps.org. Thanks.